playing surface absolutely perfect here at Loughborough. Harrison, good layoff for Firpo. This is good approach play. Bamford! What a lovely goal. Excellent approach play, lovely cross in. And Patrick Bamford marks his return with a goal. Wow, what a goal that was. Excellent one-touch play as well. The movement, the passing, an absolute joy. Dallas certainly plays a big part and that little touch there, but I love the ball in. And it's important that Bamford attacks that near post, gets in front of his defender. Come on, Junior Ferpo, can you put the ball in? Of course he can. What a header as well. Just allows the ball to glide off his forehead into the far corner. Keeper, Rui Silva, no chance. Good goal. So early celebrations for the Leeds United players and early celebrations for the Leeds United supporters as well. And that was uh, a goal to save, a lovely approach play from Leeds. Cox to Dallas. Dropped short from Stuart Dallas. And invites the counter-attack from Aitor. Aitor into the penalty area. And it loops into the back of the net. And Leeds United, rather disappointing defending there, leads to a Real Betis equalising goal pretty soon after Leeds had taken the lead. Well, Stuart Dow Dallas initially with a short ball back. Unfortunately, it was then given away. But I so there's plenty to do. And Llorente shows him the right way, but the speed, he finds himself with that half a yard. And remember at Blackburn against Armstrong, Llorente managed to flick that left leg out and stop the opportunity. This time again, he does get a touch on it, but all it can do is loop over the keeper. A little bit of spin as well, off the post and unfortunately into our goal. Yeah, it was a strange trajectory, wasn't it, from the, uh, the shot from Aitor. Showed the uh, influence of the deflection in just looping it beyond the dive of Melier. Back into Rafinha, low drive, keeper. Well, he spilt the first effort and needed the help of a defender to clear the second. Initially, an excellent run from Rodrigo into the space. As Rafinha moves inside, Rodrigo goes wide, gets it back to him, and I like this as well. Don't watch the eyes, try and find that near post. Keeper shouldn't be beaten, but we've seen it fly in a few times. This time, Silva does make the stop. Great little interchange there that sets up the run for Moreno. Uh, glides inside Rafinha, low ball in, and here's an opportunity, and there's a goal. And it's a really nicely constructed goal for Iglesias and Leeds United cut open there, and Betis now lead. Well, that was a lovely goal, it really was. It started very deep as well. They were patient with the ball, kept it moving left and right. Rafinha here once again, just defensively, found wanting. And when Moreno puts the ball in, it's laid back, and Iglesias, well... Number nine, you shouldn't miss those sort of chances, and he certainly didn't. Tucked it away well. Yeah, it was pretty much a penalty he was given there, wasn't it? Given the position he was adopting on the spot. That is, this is the longer period of possession they're enjoying here. And now they've got the chance to create something. Ball whipped in. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone through the hands of Melier, and it's gone into the back of the net. And that is Betis with a third goal in unexpected circumstances. Well, once again, it's an awful mistake, simple as that. They kept the ball extremely well, had us chasing left and right, but this is just a hopeful cross in. And at the near post, Melier gets it all wrong. The hands go up, it's a nice height, but somehow slips between post and his fingers into the back of the net. I just wonder if it hit the post first and then ricocheted off, but Whatever it is, you can't be beaten from there. Chance for Klich. Great chance for him to drive in, and he takes the opportunity that's been presented to him. And Leeds United are back in this one. Matthias Klich on the score sheet, 2-3. Well, gifts are plenty here. <laughs> you have one now after you. Awful mistake, wasn't it, from Real Betis, giving it straight to Klik. And once he does, well, all he needed to do was turn, take his time, show some composure, and it's a really good finish. That's a great pass. To us, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but a good, and once again, you have so much time, sometimes it's easy to, to overthink things, but hard and low back of the net, that always works. 
Maybe now, as Helder Costa through the middle. Still going Helder Costa, plays it on to Rodrigo. Rodrigo controls, and it's cleared. And Leeds did come very, very close indeed to adding a late third goal here. Still the ball is alive, but we're into added time of added time now, and I can't imagine there'll be too much more of that as the ball goes out. From Stuart Dallas there, that was a chance. It most certainly was, and I thought Hilda Costa had given the chance up, but eventually it did fall to Rodrigo, but not to be. So Leeds United will have to um, probably reflect on a defeat here. Because I would imagine that once the ball leaves the hands of the defender here, we'll be very, very close to the conclusion of this game. Maybe not. Tyler Roberts tries to chest it into the path of Rodrigo and that is the final action of the game so plenty to enjoy plenty that should have entertained you in this match but plenty for Marcelo Bielsa to ponder most certainly in terms of the Leeds United performance Manuel Pellegrini also but he will be I'm sure the happier of the two coaches here and Leeds United ultimately beaten by the side from La Liga by three goals to two